Okay, well, if you're out for a drive or a walk or anything, yeah. you're enjoying a nice, calm Oklahoma day mm -hmm. with sunshine. Yeah, a perfect driving day. A little cool <laughs> for the top down, because once you get driving, you get the, the wind <laughs> a little bit more, but it's wonderful out there. We were nice and dry for the weekend. We're staying nice and dry for a couple of days here before our next rain chance moves in. Our Lucky Star Skycam network all quiet. A few high thin clouds decorating the sky over downtown right now. That's all we got, no rain clouds, but we will end up getting rain clouds in the state as the week goes on. Next system is starting to dip down the west coast. Eventually, it's going to completely cut off from the jet stream. You see the white lines of the jet stream that will completely cut off and head toward the Four Corners states. And as it does that, it approaches our region. And there it is. So by Wednesday, Texas, Oklahoma panhandles, western Oklahoma, Chances for rain enter the picture, some potential for a little bit of snow, mainly well off into the northwest. And then the question becomes exactly what track does this system take? Does it go farther south toward the Rio Grande or does it kind of ride the Red River? And depending on what it does, that's going to completely impact what forecast we get for the second half of the work week. Do the rain chances linger or do they completely drop off? So we could get some rain here depending on what this system does in the metro, especially by Friday. That's where I have our highest rain chances wrapping up the work week. And then it swings well to the south. We cool down a little bit as the cold front comes through, but the winter cold, that really, really cold air, it looks like it's staying away, staying bottled up well up to the north up in Canada while most of the states remains above average as we head into the week before Christmas. And here's the deal I was talking about with what path is this storm system going to take. As mentioned, it detaches from the jet stream. It's what we call a cutoff low, and it slowly drifts. If it goes route number one toward the Rio Grande, rain mainly in the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas and far western Oklahoma and southwest Oklahoma. If it's able to go a little bit farther north by 100, 200 miles, just south of the Red River, that will greatly increase our rain chances, especially here in the metro as we ra uh, finish up the work week. So we'll keep an eye on exactly what track it's going to take. It's a little bit harder to figure out tracks on those systems that cut off from the main jet stream because they're farther away from the main steering flow, but it's something that we're watching and we keep the rain chances on the nine day. But like I said, not for today. Nice blue sky over Enid on our Lucky Star Sky Cam Network, 53, very light wind today. It's comfortably cool out there across the metro. Temperatures in the mid and low 50s right now. Mid 50s to the northwest, pushing 60 now across southwestern Oklahoma. That is where we will end up seeing the 60s later this afternoon, despite a breeze out of the north that is a little bit gustier in western and southwestern Oklahoma, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here in central Oklahoma, 5 to 10 mile per hour gusts right now. We could see that peak up just a little bit this afternoon, but temperatures are comfortable nonetheless. 58 in Oklahoma City, mid 50s to the north. Low 60s in western and southwestern Oklahoma. Overnight temperatures fairly seasonal, right around freezing or just a few degrees below that for the start of our Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, still cool. Lower 50s up in the north, mid and upper 50s to the central and southern part of the state with some 60s or near 60 degrees popping back in. And then an upslope wind on Wednesday. We get that upslope wind. Remember, the western side of the state and the panhandles, much higher elevation. That's going to help initiate some of that rain. The clouds will keep us cooler, low 50s, even some upper 40s in northwestern Oklahoma, 55 for Oklahoma City. And a low rain chance Wednesday, 20% along the I-35 corridor. It's far western Oklahoma and the panhandle that have that much greater chance for rain as we go through our Wednesday. Thursday rain chances, Oklahoma City stay low, 60% on Friday. And the greatest amount of rain as we go through the back end of the work week, western Oklahoma could get up to half an inch to pushing an inch for especially western parts of the metro. But that's about it. And like I've been saying, white Christmas odds, never really in our favor, especially when you look at December 18th through 24th temperature outlook, well above average across the central United States. Not doing us any favors, but more comfortable air hanging around to the back end of the weekend, 50s. That's all I got for now. News 9 is going to be back in just a few minutes.